Thank you very much. I'm here with left fielder Evan Carter. Evan, what a difference a year can make. This time last spring, you broke camp at Double A as a top prospect, and now this spring, your expectation is to break camp as the Rangers' everyday left fielder. What are you doing to get both your mind and your body right for your first full season at the big league level? Yeah, this is definitely a different feel of spring training than it was last year. I feel like, you know, this year it's like, okay, hey, we get to, you know, I'm going to make the team this year. There's no there's no pressure of like, all right, I have to do this or do that. You know, I'm just out here to get better. Um, and it's really exciting, you know, kind of I feel like I know the guys in the locker room now and, you know, getting the feel for how everything's going to go. So it's been really exciting. You mentioned like clubhouse camaraderie. Now that you're more, I mean, you're still a rookie, obviously, but you've had more big league experience than a lot of guys that are in that Rangers clubhouse. What is that camaraderie like now that you've had that postseason and World Series experience? Yeah, it's it's really valuable. Um, just like what we said, coming into the locker room and kind of having a relationship with a lot of the players now and being able to talk to them and kind of do stuff outside of baseball too. Um, it's really valuable for me. Last year, you know, I felt nervous, you know, anxious, kind of trying to get to know everybody, and I don't have to feel that this year, so it's been really good. Last season, you were in 40 big league games, including every single postseason game where you batted 300 Performing in the way that you did last season, how will that set you up for success, especially with how you were on baseball's biggest stage? Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I, um, I'm really excited for this year. You know, I mean, that's the I felt a little bit spoiled to get to experience the biggest stage so quickly in my career. Um, but I'm very excited for the experience and the in-game experience that I get from being in that spotlight and on that stage. And it's, uh, it's going to be really valuable for this year. Um, you know, you play, being able to play in the playoffs and in the World Series, that's, you know, as high pressure as it gets. So hopefully the rest of the, the regular season will be a little bit less pressure. When you evaluate everything you accomplished during the postseason run, what is the number one most valuable thing you learned about your game during that time period? Yeah, I think that it was really cool to have somebody like Boach that was just like, hey, go out there and do what you do and play. You don't have to conform to what we want you to do or we don't want you to act a certain way. You know, you're here for a reason. Play the way that you've always played. So I'm really thankful for that, and I guess it kind of helped me grow in myself and be a little bit more confident in myself. Speaking of Rangers manager Bruce Bochy, after the World Series win, you told me, you might not remember this, but you said there's no manager I'd rather play for than Bruce Bochy. Now that you'll have Boch as a manager for the entire season of this year, what is the number one way that he'll impact your game? Yeah, I mean, I think that just like, you know, he's been around for so long. Obviously, he's won a ton of World Series. There's no more. Like you said, I wouldn't want to be around anybody else to so be able to learn from him, kind of see how he has his composure throughout a full season. Um, and just to get to be around the older guys like Corey Marcus, who've been with him for a year, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, meaning, you know, just to get to see a full season of him helping me out and building my confidence, I'm really excited for it. Let's talk about your plate discipline. You're wise beyond your years at the plate. Nearly a quarter of your at-bats last season ended in a full count. What does your approach look like at the plate that allows you to work so deep in counts? Yeah, I um, I guess I'm just really picky with which ones I want to swing at. Um, and that's something that I've always done is just try and go deep in counts and work walks or, you know, try and, you know, get the pitch counts up. Um, that's always been a part of my game. So being able to kind of carry that over and be a little bit more, you know, picky and hopefully make pitchers throw one over the plate is definitely something I want to keep carrying forward. How have you accomplished that at such a young age? I mean, you're only 21 years old. And again, you're wise beyond your years at the plate. So... How old were you when you started realizing this mental discipline? You know, I'm not really, I'm not really sure how old, I guess. I, it would be one of those things, I guess, that's kind of always been a part of what I do, I guess. Um, I guess especially in high school and, you know, coming up through travel ball and whatever, it was just something that that's kind of how I've always hit, um, for better or for worse, if I'm too picky or whatnot. But um, I feel like it's, it's helped me a lot throughout my pro career. You saw a very small sample size of left-handed pitching at the big league level after you made your debut. How will that balance your offensive approach now that you'll be facing lefties consistently at the big league level all of 2024? Yeah, I'm very excited to be able to face them for a full for a full season. You know, you're only going to get better the more that you see them. So, you know, just like what you said, I had a very small sample size last year, so I'm excited to get to compete against, um, hopefully for a full season against them. The best part about spring training is just how much of a more relaxed and chill environment it is out here in Surprise, Arizona. What does a day in the life of Evan Carter look like here at Surprise Stadium? Yeah, um, I get here about 7 o'clock, um, come in, drink a bunch of water, take some of my supplement stuff, go in, normally do a workout, you know, five out of the seven days. Um, and then it just depends on what we're doing that day. You know, I'll come out here and hit in the cage for a little while and then we'll head out to the field. And uh, depending on if I'm playing or not that day, it just kind of changes from there. But um it's been really great, you know, the playing schedule that Boach has had us on. Um, 
making sure, you know, we're getting enough recovery, rest, whatnot. Um, I'm still young, so I guess I'm, you know, I don't need it as much as, you know, some of the older guys do, and they definitely deserve it with how much experience they have, but it's been great so, so far. This time last season, you were a non-roster invitee. So what is the biggest difference you've noticed within the Rangers clubhouse from last season to this season, especially after everything you've accomplished? I think that just the amount of, you know, I guess how much I can talk to them more so now, I guess, um, how comfortable I feel around them. Um, and I feel like they, they kind of include me a lot more, not that they didn't before, but just, you know, once you've been around somebody for a longer amount of time, you know, they're going to, you know, be your buddy outside of baseball, you know, get to hang out, do whatever like that. Um, and I, I feel like that I just kind of blend in with them a little bit more. And I'm really excited about it. Obviously, this offseason was much shorter than normal. I know one of your biggest goals was to gain weight, and you had a lot of beef, banana pudding, and your grandma's homemade mac and cheese. I know the family recipes can be a little top secret sometimes, but how does she make her famous mac and cheese? So I couldn't tell you how she makes it. Um, it was just all, she's one of those that's very secretive about just about everything she makes. So she'll give you bits and pieces of things as you're trying to figure out how she makes it. So I couldn't tell you how she does, but it, it's really good. How much mac and cheese do you think you consume this off season? A pan? I don't know. A I, probably a pan. <laughs> I don't know. A bunch. Just, just a big bat yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. that. Well, now I'm starving. So, Evan, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. We'll see you in Arlington for opening day. No, thank you. I appreciate it.